I've seen so many people underestimate what their phones are capable of and today I want to change that. Hey, Steven is here, I'm coming to you from the beautiful state of Nevada where I'm on the road and away from my usual studio setup in Prague. But that's not going to stop me from bringing you some valuable videos today. As I see from your feedback in the comments, many of you wanted to see editing tutorial for photos and I'll be using Lightroom to edit my photos and overall it's just gonna be like some funky editing session. So grab your phones, your favorite photos and let's get started. Okay, so here is the first photo before and after and let me show you how I got it done and just so you guys understand my logic and philosophy when editing photos usually I separate all into three stages so first stage is adjusting light contrast then second stage is adjusting colors and the third stage is just overall sharpness vignetting film grain stuff like that so let's do the brightness first and I usually always start by pressing auto adjustment. So the phone just automatically, the software does it for you. All right, and it's already decent. The photo is more contrast. You see, if you press the screen with your stylus, or if you use an iPhone, you can just press on the screen with your finger and it will show you before. So before, after, you can compare the results. If you already like it, you're good to go. If you want to adjust further, let's go. So let's do the brightness first. We hit the sun. I'm just bringing highlights down. And in this way, I'm just making the gap between highlights and shadows and therefore there's more volume in the photo it looks more volumetric that's what I do usually to photos so you bring highlights down a little bit you bring shadows up it looks a little bit washed up but there is a way to fix it so then we add a little bit of contrast and blacks go down just like this and you see the photo looks rich in contrast it looks very good maybe shadows down a little bit add whites mm, let me see if we should edit it okay then we go to S curve and here we can even improve our contrast the lower part of the curve represents shadow areas the upper parts of the curve represents highlight yeah it looks decent just a little bit contrast and now step number two colors okay so we go here we adjust our temperature sometimes it helps to figure out the direction you want to go in if you just go into extreme super cool or super warm temperature just so you see what you like best then you can adjust tint also make it greener or add a little bit magenta color and then from that we can control our saturation so vibrance is just how vibrant colors are and saturation just controls overall all situation of colors in photo and what I like about Lightroom is that you can adjust every single color here in terms of hue in terms of saturation and in terms of luminous so you can pick every single color here and if you shot the photo in raw you can adjust a lot of details here so with the stylus pencil it's very cool here you can just click this icon and then just press any part of the frame and drag up or down and then you will adjust the value you chose so you see here I'm adjusting saturation by just picking the color just the area and then dragging up or down and this way I'm adjusting the strength of the saturation of the particular color which is yellow and orange right now. Okay guys, I'm screen recording right now and my laptop is going crazy. I'm sorry for the noise, it's just the fans kicking in because I'm screen recording for you and yeah, I'm sorry. And step number three, we bring in some more adjustments and polish the image and bring it to another level. With vignette in particular, I really like adding it sometimes so it just helps to focus and draw attention into a certain part of the image, make the vignette more prominent like this, we adjust its shape subconsciously the attention is drawn into the center of the frame which is the museum in the center of Prague and now actually I think maybe we can adjust even better because this photo does not do the justice to this beautiful architecture I'm gonna select the building with the mask so you just press this button then hit plus zoom in a little bit and look this is the really cool advantage of the S Pen of the S23 Ultra we can just paint over the certain area of the frame like this and then we can adjust only selected area which is really useful and can be applied in so many different scenarios and the same way here we can adjust our exposure same three steps as we just did we can apply to only certain part of the image so we adjust contrast I make shadows maybe lift a little bit see we increase contrast but we also increase brightness of this building also there are different smart masks in this app so you can hit select sky let's say and the phone the software will just find sky automatically and will apply the whole mask so you don't have to draw over the sky and also guys I know a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel unfortunately but I'm just talking to those 
14,000 people who are subscribed. It's very important to create layers. So you see the sky in the back is very bright. Then we have this hill and mountain, and also we have the museum and then leaves and trees in the foreground. So I was thinking about creating this volume when taking photo, and now I can even exaggerate it and make it more prominent with the editing. Okay, and here is our photo before and after. What do you guys think? I think it looks decent. See what others think in the comments below. And you know, sometimes it's very difficult to see the colors on the screen to see if the image is sharp and you want to switch to the bigger screen. So you see, I'm just unplugging my monitor from the MacBook and just the same cable I attached to the phone and easy as that. And you see from here, I can even edit video you can adjust colors, do color grading. At the same time, we can use the phone for Instagram or whatever you want to do. And it's very cool that you can use this big real estate on the monitor. You can do color grading even. So it's very insane. If you told me years ago that I could edit everything from portable computer, which is the phone, uh, I would not believe you because it's so powerful. It does not glitch. It really works. It does work. And I also can view everything on big monitor without breaking my eyesight. It's insane. Okay, now it's time to work on the second photo and the same way I hit here, auto adjustments just like this. And then I adjust my exposure, whites, shadows, brighter, darker areas of the photo. Blacks will pull down a little bit to improve the contrast and then go into the temperature to adjust the colors, vibrance and saturation as well. And it looks good. Now some special effects as vignette. Dehaze helps to bring up more contrast. And now let me show you one of the most important features of Lightroom using of masks. So you have two different options, heal or clone. Then you select the brush size, let's leave it like that. And then you paint over the area you want to remove or be enhanced or less visible. Then you select the sample area, which will be copied onto the drone section of the photo. Then you select the opacity in order to make the changes more subtle if you want. And yeah, just like that, you see this area looks enhanced. We did not remove completely the stain, rusty stain on the roof, but it's less visible. We did not manipulate the photo too much. And just like that, in under one minute, we took this photo and make it look like that. I think the result is incredible. It's very time efficient to use the S Pen. I'm a huge fan of S Pen. Yeah, guys, and the photo is ready to be posted all over the social medias. All right, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I know I promised this video a long time ago, but currently I'm traveling for the NAB exhibition and there's so much cool tech I have to cover here. There's this cool laptop from Asus with 3D monitor, a lot of filmmaking accessories and also cool stuff for mobile filmmaking. So definitely a video from this trip is coming to this channel. Make sure to subscribe and meanwhile, watch one of these videos as I think it will be perfect for you and I'll see you there. Bye-bye. The Insta360 Flow Creator Key. Also, I have here, I think five days ago, I purchased it and I have not had any time to open up. I'm just still editing on my 2017 MacBook Pro, so right now I'm gonna open it.